a very interesting session. And I think for the attendees, I'm not sure about you, but for me, it becomes very important from what I've um, observed, because one would ask um, why suddenly, you know, from program uh, leadership or program, or your, or, or, okay, rather project management, then program leadership, and then suddenly we're talking all things leadership, culture, and what have you. Um, again, projects, you cannot have projects without people. You cannot have um, all these, you know, programs that Suhil was talking about without having to interact with people. So culture becomes very critical for any program lead to understand the dynamics, you know, um, like, you know, the examples that you made about how some people behave in other um, continents in other parts of the world, that if you are from Africa, uh, you know, you may not understand some of the things and same goes for them. They come to Africa, they need to understand the type of people that we are, how we, in, you know, we, we behave, how we respond to uh, things. So maybe not to take much uh, from everyone else's time. This is the Q&A session. Um, I'm not going to call anyone by name. So if you've got any question, comments, you know, anything that you'd like to say, maybe closing remarks, how, how, how would you rate the session? Um, in the interest of time, we're not going to be sending the link here. Um, so we've got five, well, less than five minutes, four minutes, 30 seconds um, for that kind of uh, uh, feedback. So anyone that wanted to take to take a step at that? Thank you, uh, uh, Truman. Thank you, Suil, uh, Henry. Yeah. Uh, uh, Suil, I just want to uh, touch on uh, basically the estimating uh, protocols that you spoke about. Uh, in my uh, business cases, uh, when it comes to projects, I found that uh, bottom-up estimating, or we call it first principles, where you build, basically build up rates from your current market conditions. And uh, looking forward in hindsight, what we experienced with COVID and basically material movement in labor, in plant, in you know any uh, cost that you basically incur in these times. I think that's basically the financial model that uh, most companies are looking at especially when it comes to the EPCMs of today, they would rather spend that money with uh, quantity surveyors or uh, build up of a bill of quantities for each defined areas than to basically go into the past and try and build up from where they basically start the projects. I don't know if that makes sense. Yes, um, my own... Um experience you know relates mainly to engineering project although i've also had some time in software development projects but um what you say makes perfect sense and it's one of the best ways of doing something and sometimes people in fact think you know when i'm telling them to use this bottom-up approach um, i immediately start you know get my calculator out and my notepad and start preparing a basic bill of quantities, because that to me is the most um, correct way of knowing what you're aiming at. The other techniques that were mentioned is, you know, sometimes you may need a quick decision-making and initial decision-making. So you want to know an order of magnitude, you know, can I do this or not? It's like if you wanted to buy a vehicle, you know, um, and you just want to know, okay, how much does a vehicle cost? Is it five rands? Is it 5,000 rands? Is it 500,000 or is it 5 million? You know, that kind of thing. But then once you um, realize that, okay, it is, let's say 50,000, you may then say, okay, which vehicle and you put all the characteristics and you zoom in, whether or not it should be 35 and a half thousand, 55,000, et cetera. You're quite right. Thank you. On. Thank you. Um, any other question uh, before we terminate the session? Oh. We've got less than 
two minutes before the end of the session. Going once, twice, thrice. Just a quick one. Uh, yes. Where, uh, with the Truman's question, where would you put Africa uh, on the cultural uh, slide? Uh, we look at Germany. Mm. Okay, um, I I think Africa is actually a, a hybrid, if I may call it that. Okay. We we do you know in Africa we do have um, an understanding of you know obeying orders, um, but we also need that human interaction and understanding very much. Mm. Um, so I think are other parts of the world uh, similar to Africa, and it might actually be the majority of humanity, which is not always represented in these studies, because I think when people do the studies, um, they may be, you know, under time pressure and they don't have access to the rest of the world. So my feeling is that we are a hybrid. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. That, that, yeah, I think, yeah that, that brings us to the end, everyone. So I'm not sure, was that the last question?